chunk here is just a perfect little spot for this uh, small cube. So let me go ahead and show you what we have going on in here. of the shelf there is a rug um, or what we call a work mat and that is a uh, Montessori practice and the concept behind the work mat is to um, encourage and uh, guide or teach the child that they are responsible for their work area and for cleaning up their work area so I am teaching Luna to extend the mat to uh, put our work on the mat and then when we're done using it we put our work back in its respective basket or tray. It goes on the shelf and we roll up the mat. Okay, so these are at the bottom of the shelf and the, these are uh, wooden nesting blocks so they all fit in the biggest cube or block. Uh, which I really love that for uh, minimizing um, space. So all three littles have really been enjoying this. Luna, um, 18 months, Noah, three years old, and Bella, five years old. So basically uh, it's for stacking or building. Uh, this is also great for size sequencing. our nesting blocks is this basket with these DIY um, peg dolls that I made and these are rainbow colors and I only have five just because Luna is counting to five and so I just wanted to keep that five uh, numeral uh, throughout all of our shelf work. The first part is this mat that I made and this is canvas uh, and felt and so these have five colors here. And then um, we have a cup, small little cup here that goes to each of these colors. So uh, we are matching verde, rojo, amarillo, morado, azul. And then to go to, with um, each one of those little cups are these uh, small little peg dolls that I hand painted. Let's see if the camera will focus here. Might take a little bit. <laughs> hey guys, I'm still figuring out this new camera. Let's see, there it is. These are just for more color matching, amarillo. And not only just that, but this is a great uh, fine motor activity um, here, being able to insert this small doll into this small hole or the small opening. So here we have a open and closed basket. Sorry, you can hear the kids, they're playing upstairs. Um, so here we have different containers that require different uh, motions or techniques to opening and closing the lid. And as you can tell, some of these do have little farm animals in there, and those are just for a little um, added surprise or fun. When she does open the container, she likes finding uh, little surprises in there, and I switch them on and off. Right now, we only have two. We have a cow and a horse. Um, I've also had um, bigger rock gems in here for her. She likes those as well. This is 
one of the books that she currently has here these get switched out about every week or so and this is a touch and feel wild animals book so again just for further language so el leon and then it has that added um, touch and feel for um, a sensory experience just a wooden puppy and this is so that she can drag all uh, downstairs or even take it outside on our walks to the playground um, easy for her to pull um, there is some movement to the puppy which I like that so it's wooden um, but the tail does wag a little bit the head moves the ears flop so very well made So our first shelf here is our DIY version on a um, traditional material, which is the Montessori spindle box. And this is great for uh, number quantity, uh, for counting one-to-one -one correspondence, and number sequencing. Luna does count up to number five in Spanish, uh, but we're just working on the number quantity concept. So you're to place the correct amount or the respective amount of wooden dowels into the toilet paper roll. Uh, so uno, dos, uno, dos. And we uh, do the counting and uh, number quantity portion as an interactive activity, uh, but even just uh, for her to do independently, she likes to walk up to the shelf and on her own, she will uh, go ahead and just place the wooden dowels in, in the different slots. And that's great fine motor practice. So I'm good with her um, using it that way as well. Alex Toys um, button activity. I believe it's what it's called. The activity has several different uh, picture mats. So here we have a tree, a fish. Okay, next we have a basket full of binder ring books that I've made and I've said uh, before how much my kids really love binder ring books. So just going through them quickly here. This is a book of emotions and Luna loves her bebes and so we'll just go through the different emotions and uh, practice on making those emotions or those faces as well. This is her favorite binder ring book. In here. Farm animals, um, Luna loves her farm animals, so we'll just go through here and make the, uh, the different animal noises and then also just name the different animals. Uh, this binder ring basket is really for language. Um, a toddler's environment around this age should be just full of language activities. Here we have a animal safari booklet that my preteen actually made for her little sisters. Very sweet of her to make that for her. Uh, these bilingual flashcards that are made into a binder ring book and I've featured these plenty of times uh, here on my channel and on my Instagram page. Um, this is where they're being housed right now but um, they've been in our busy kit, our morning basket, so these are a tradition in our home. Uh, these National Geographic uh, phonetic uh, animal cards. And then back here we have uh, two Bitty Beginnings flashcard sets that I made into books. So one is numbers and the other one is shapes. All right, and next we have a wooden puzzle from Melissa and Doug. Um, so first it's uh, matching, so matching the um, object to picture. Uh, these are great for fine motor, for that wrist rotation as I mentioned previously. Uh, but again, we're mainly just using this for language, repeating the farm animal name um, constantly through our conversation and our interaction is key. This peekaboo board out of canvas, felt, and I made this for Luna when she was about nine months old. And we then we used it for recognizing family faces. So we had pictures of myself or her siblings, um, her grandpa, my husband, and she would just lift the flap and we would play peekaboo and, and we would talk about who is under each flap. 
I have switched it up and we did colors at one point, we did shapes, and now we are using this again as a language activity for learning our body part names. Pie, la boca. For a little bit of practical life practice is this Melissa and Doug bear puzzle. You can see it better this way. All right, and I think this is the older version. The new version is a puppy, uh, but I found this at a consignment shop for about two bucks, so it was a great deal. So first, it's a puzzle, so you can um, put in the puzzle pieces to make the upper body part of the bear, but I found that it was making the practical life part of this puzzle, which for me is the most uh, beneficial part of the puzzle, a little difficult. It wasn't stable enough for her. It was moving around, and um, again, she was having trouble um, with the buckles and the buttons, so I glued them with craft glue. I glued each piece and now they're they're I mean secure in there They're not coming out and it's made the puzzle a lot more stable for her just everyday practical life stuff here um, so a button a buckle zipper a clasp a button lacing and then the hook and loop for a belt um, now, she's only mastered two here so far, the buckle and the clasp button, so she has a lot of work left in this, but she loves this, and so does Noah, H3. He gets a lot of practice out of this. And here we have a material that all my babies are absolutely loving at the moment. So from Bella age five to Luna age 18 months. And these are Russian nesting dolls. Now these are just plain wood and I found these at Michael's for about seven bucks, which is a great deal. All right, and the last activity here is, again, more language, and this is an object to picture match, and we're just learning uh, different fruit names. So we have several cards here. You can start with about three at a time, which is what we're doing currently. And then we discuss the different fruit names. Fresa, banano, while we are uh, discussing uh, the names of the fruits, we are really uh, focusing on repeating the fruit name as much as possible. Mm -hmm. 